same in the parts. A story for children, written in drawn by Dina Siari. Sam lived on a real desert island in the middle of the ocean. It had a palm tree with coconuts on it, and a fort. Sam used the fort to hide from fierce pirates who roamed the oceans. Sometimes the pirates would put ashore on the island and bury their treasure. When they did this, Sam would hear the fierce pirate chief sing a terrible pirate song. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. Now we're going to have some fun. I'm a pirate chief so bold and I've come here to bury my gold. Then the pirates would bury their treasure, laughed a terrible laugh, ha 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 ha, row back to their pirate ship and sail away. When the pirates had gone, Sam would get out his telescope, just to make sure the pirates had really gone. One day, after some pirates had buried their treasure on the island, Sam was looking through his telescope when he spied a small piece of paper on the beach. I wonder what that can be, said Sam. I'd better go and see. Carefully, he crept out of his fort and went down to the beach. Why, it's a treasure map, said Sam. The pirates must have dropped it. Sam looked at the map. Aha, he exclaimed. This map says that if I walk five paces south of the palm tree, I will find the pirates' treasure. I will go and dig it up. Sam took a spade, and keeping a weary eye for the pirates, he went out to find the treasure. He carefully paced out one, two, three, four, five paces, found the place where the treasure was buried, and began to dig. First, he dug a narrow hole, but there was no sign of the treasure. So, he dug a wider hole, but there was still no sign of the treasure. I know, said Sam. My hole is too shallow. I'll dig a deeper hole. So he dug a deeper hole, but there was still no treasure. So he dug a very deep hole, but there was still no treasure. So he dug a tremendously deep hole, and clunk, his spade hit something. It was a treasure chest. Quickly, Sam pulled the chest out of the tremendously deep hole. It was heavy. He had just pulled the chest out of the hole when... Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. Now we're going to have some fun. I'm a pirate chief so bold, and I've come back to check my gold. It was the pirates. Sam had been so busy that he hadn't noticed they had returned. Quickly, he dragged the chest back to his fort. The pirates marched up to the palm tree and measured out one, two, three, four, five paces to the south. To their surprise, instead of finding the place where the treasure should have been, they found a tremendously deep hole. The pirate chief looked down into the hole. Hello, 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 he cried. What's been going on here? Someone's taken our gold, and I know where, who it was. It was that boy Sam. Come on, men. We're going to get it back. Sam hid in his fort. He could hear the pirates coming closer and closer, with the pirate chief singing his terrible song. Yo, ho, ho, and a bottle of rum. Now we're going to have some fun. I'm a pirate chief so bold, and now I'm going to find my gold. Sam waited. He could hear the pirates scaling the wall of his fort. Just as they were about to climb into the fort, up jumped Sam and squirted the pirate chief in the eye with his water pistol. Ah! The pirate chief staggered back, knocking his men over. Kaplunk! Rolly poly! The pirates rolled over and over and over until they all rolled into the tremendously deep hole. Splunk! Sam never saw them again. That'll teach him to fall with me, said Sam. Now, to see what's in this treasure chest. Just then, Sam's mother called. Sam, dinner time. Come and wash your hands and hurry up. Bother, said Sam. 
I have to wait until tomorrow to see what's on the chest. He went inside to dinner.